Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I'm Frost PDP, and today we are playing Crusader Kings 2 Robert's Revenge, episode 43. And uh, as I look around the map, I notice that Jerusalem has lost most of its land in the Middle East, which is a shame. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I was hoping they would keep it. Sicily is and Pisa still dominate South, you know, North Africa, so that's a plus. Jerusalem has some land in, across from Gibraltar, you know, Septa? I thought it was Septa. Whatever. I guess they have different names in different languages. Almanza. Oh wow. He's actually keeping like city. Wow. Go, 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 power Venice. So, on the upside, um, the Reconquista is just about complete. We're actually starting our own conquista. We lost a battle last episode, I remember that. Uh, unfortunately, we got another 1,200 men. We're reinforcing 40 a month, so let's call this a 6,500 man army. Not enough to beat them heads on, but enough to win a siege. And I raised my boats over here because I'm going to drag these guys over. You know why? As we expand closer to the Mediterranean, it's easier to just say, all right, I can raise the boats here, boat them over, and go. Unfortunately, I don't get to freely distribute this land, uh, because it's a, it's a claim for someone else. So this land goes to them. I don't get to just assign cities out, which is a shame. I prefer to do that. But, uh, cattle and band? Wards to make Latium pay tribute. Okay, whatever. Uh, so, anyway. Let's giggity giggity go. We had a net positive income last I looked. Yes, we do. New Mayor Moldo. Plays hard and talks straight. He could become honest. Become brave. Uh, due to not being in a friendly port. We don't want that. So let's make sure Aragon can't, you know, Castile can't just t show up and beat us with a bunch of men. Um. I forgot to actually give the order, didn't I? Whoops. So we're in siege races right now, that's fine. Split this army. And have you get on the boats. Split this army. Split this army again. Get on the boats. Split this army. I'm splitting them right down to like their maximum smallness, aren't I? <sighs> ah, I can only send 200. So, but men, cross over. No, I'll, boat. I'll just boat them straight around. It's crossing over. Puts them at risk of being forked. Just trying to promote vile heresies. Unless, I mean, I could try to land them in, like, Barcelona or something. Since apparently I'm at war with Barcelona for reasons. I guess Barcelona decided to join. That's a problem. They were not supposed to join. Uh, now is when I wonder what happened to my alliance with England. Call to arms. There must be a war. Okay, I apparently can't call it. That could be problematic. Charge high history arc. So I can... 
Go after my spy master. I'll keep this information to myself. Thank you. So if Barcelona decides to actually join this fight, I may have a problem. This doesn't say it's reinforcing any, but it is in his lands, technically. Let's grab that, because it's cost me money. Uh, you are stewardshipy. So go be conscientious. At least I can teleport the boats back home. So we lost the siege, we won a siege, we lost the siege, we won a siege, that's fine. There's another 2,000, now just go up here, stand the boats down, that's 9,000 we're at. This is uh, the bishopric, we'll take it. Now I teleport my boats back here. And all of a sudden they can raise the whole damn levy again, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, if that's the case. Pharmacology laboratory, that's good. Oh, uh, why am I hitting the wrong button? V, what am I doing? It's one of those moments where you're like, huh? So Drake broke away from the Byzantines, by the way. Uh, would be a great province to get a claim on, all things considered. What is my council doing? Statecraft? Threat to K? I don't really have threat. Relations are... No, we're going to fabricate a claim on Thracia. We're going to piss the Byzantines off as much as we possibly can. You better love me. I've defended your land twice already. Get on the boat. And I'm not going to push my luck. I'm just going to wait. Because Barcelona's got 7k around, that could be a danger to me. I'm just going to march. I'm just going to play the siege resiege game right now. And that will, uh solve me some problems. One thousand. <sighs> well, again, we got roughly... Oh, sh that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm waiting. I'm not engaging. One, now I know he's in planes. But two, like, I did not need to see... Our Aragon army looks. Ah! No! I I went on autopilot. I wasn't even thinking. Get there fast. All right. Do you know what happened? You went on autopilot, Frost. You kind of weren't paying attention. You were supposed to change that at the last minute, and you didn't. Uh, so that's why your losses were so high, you dummy. 11 war score, 23.8 prestige, piety, zero, because it's the same religion. We basically destroyed half his army. And now let's go back to Navarra. See, now it's at least, especially once we get this, it'll be economical to boat troops around to make other attacks. So it's 10 to 1, but I don't want to waste any troops. Uh, they are... Progress to 3.8, we progress to 5.1, we'll beat the siege then and come back around. Nope, we'll engage now. With proper leaders. Well we'll we'll find proper leaders. Don't don't you worry about that. I could make someone a jester. I think you have to pay him to do that though.
Uh, five with direct leader. No, thank you. Uh, uns, dos, tres. And I timed it for the day before so that they would arrive. Now, this is plain, so this guy on the left should be especially damaging. It looks like he is. Everything seems to be going just freaking dandy. We captured Garcia Garces. Nobody can pay 46 ducats to ransom him. My daughter has become a schemer. I still am not sure why the game sometimes doesn't allow these marriages. Flamboyant schemer. Didn't even show me the battle results. Okay, that's unfortunate. Matrilineal marriage. My daughter just turned 16. Maybe that's why. He's the prince of Poland. He will probably have claims on Poland. He's now matrilineal. If nothing else, the child will have claims. So now I can make a claim on Poland, and since I have an empire title, that's not a problem. Another day at court, another endless procession of matters that you're required to pass judgment on. As yet another peasant turns on about his sickly pigs and the neighbor he believes poison. Let me feel a profound emptiness. This isn't the life you'd imagined. Yep. I don't care about that army right now. Unless I see another army moving towards it, then I care. Coimbra. Oh cool, they can fight each other. That's fun. So did he win? Yes, my vassal took more land. That makes him stronger. Stronger vassals are better vassals, unless they're too strong and then they're a problem. The child should have a learning focus, probably. Title loss in succession. Kingdom of Wales, don't care, he stays in my lands, stays in my lands, stays in my land. I don't bear any of us, Stronroid. No. No. Bad game. Don't gavel kind away my fucking in my one county baronies. That's not fun. This kid turned out all sorts of wrong. This I don't want to group up. But if he's over here fighting something else, it's fine with me. Burgundy is occupied by Troyes. Tribute war. That's a little inconvenient. Child likes childhood focus. This bastard. Let's make him struggle. Okay, Damien. She's a elusive shadow, arbitrary, lustful, high stewardship, stealing stuffies. Um, Doink. Thanks for the 10 ducats. I have 600 in my bank right now. That's how strong I am. I really can't afford to lose. I can't afford to lose anything in my capital. I would go to war with my children for that. Duke of whatever you are. Have factions is a problem now. All of a sudden, 91%. They're actually going to be stronger after this. Thank you. I'd rather see the top in the Jera. Uh, 2200 versus 2700. Yeah, that I'd rather whoop on his army a time or two. This is taking way too long, by the way. This is why I prefer Holy War CB. That was a quick strike down. Is there an event that happened? I should have done this between episodes, but is there anyone I can ransom? Fuck you. Good 
convert, sure. Uh, percentage modifier, yes, please. I will legit county claim war that guy. I will demand his land. I will revoke him. I will take 10 tyranny to get it back, man. These baronies are worth too much. I mean, like, I basically have. I'm three counties short of my max load. Like, three holdings. Like, there's no way I would not take this man. Now, this is annoying. They got two to my one, but I could still outrace them. The problem is now I have a river crossing no matter where I go. But they have two small little armies, and I'll beat them in a siege race, and I think. Uh, 3.3 .3 versus 3.7. I might not beat them in a siege race. That'd be annoying. Then I have to go beat his army up. Oh, shit. Who are you? You know, I'm pretty sure you're getting excommunicated, pal. Uh oh. I see numbers. Uh, that's not good. But they gave up the Caesar for further head on. So maybe that's not bad either. Please be worth 12 war scores so I can just end this. Otherwise, it's there and then back around. It's not like I don't think I'll win. Whatever. Please, please, please. Ah, uh, call to arms against Scotland. Oh, they're declaring. Wait. So you're pushing my. You're pushing her claim. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm at 93%. And. Oh, he called me into two wars. Well, whatever. Nope, he won't take it directly. I wonder if I can force the AI to move off. Nope. I'm gonna have to come around and do this the hard way. Make it in time so I don't have to re-siege. Damn it. Battle's on. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Yes, well I want to end this war first. And I'll stop by ransoming you. Stop by ransoming you. Okay, King Charlotte of England won. That's not what I really wanted, but England's an ally. I'll take it. Thank you for paying the money that I've asked you for. Ten bucks. He's finished his studies in the ways of war. He's somewhat decent at it. I'm taking my time to ransom back everyone I possibly can just for the money. And now I'll enforce demands. And now we've taken a three county duchy. And I have 5k right here. And the English Revolt apparently thinks it's good to siege my land down. Thanks, guys. Really love you. And there's a Holy Roman Revolt on. Now. I can see about declaring war on the fake empire. Uh, 
Oh, that's weird. I was clicking above it. It's below it. I can actually try to sneak Verdun. Why is the council against? We're already fighting a busy war. Any opponent is too strong for us to take on. Apparently 12k is too strong for me these days. Which might be right. I'm, I do need to rebuild my forces. I'm being greedy. Being very fucking greedy, actually. My factions are at 134%. Um... Okay, but I just clicked the retina button twice, so you ought to be quiet now. And I'm going to strengthen every other one of these things I can get. Two eighty-three in the bank. Guess I'll build something cheap in melee. All right. Well, we won a war. We'll rebuild our levies quick enough, I think. This is at fifteen k at my disposal. Is there anything I need to do with my council? I have two advisors, they're both powerful vassals, that's what the position's for. He's at negative 20, but... Um, he wants to see on the council 40. I'm okay with a weak spy master. I don't really have an option. But I'll still send him off to study technology, because the hell with him, right? Oh, look, another Byzantine revolt. Good to see that they're not that strong. It's, oh my god, the peasant revolt's all the way over there, isn't it? That's right, I have a peasant revolt. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me raise up some boats for my vassals. And 31 plus 11. It's almost enough. Sorry to have to rely on you so much, dude. And you. But you're both coastal, and you know what that means. Both exist to be exploited. You're my dynasty. You hate me. Why do you hate me? You want my lands, you think I'm a tyrant, and 46 raised levy penalty. I'm not going to touch your levy. You can not like me as much as you want. But I need these boats to get over here. Anyway, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help the channel out a great deal. I'm um, hoping to be able to keep making videos once a day but if I have to go back to a couple of days a week I can do that that's just unfortunately the way life is right now we have visitors coming into the building and all that sort of school stuff so um thank you for joining me and as always on this channel La Paz